It is what happens, not what it is, but what happens to this rod bacteria that is significant because it's going into what I then videotaped and captured for the first time that I know of, and I've showed this at Vienna University, I've shown this at Chinua University, I've shown this at Oxford University, and now we're showing this at Harvard University, which has never been seen before, the biological transformation of bacteria into a red blood cell, and then bacteria out of the red blood cell. It's reversible. All fluids found in the living world of plants, animals, and humans contain a microbe which various scientists have called an endibiont, somatida, or oncoexma. It is to be found in all body fluids, including the blood, urine, saliva, and the seminal fluid. At first, this microbe appears in the size of a virus, but depending on its environment, can mutate to the size of bacteria, and under certain circumstances, can even manifest itself in the fungal form. The endobion's purpose in an intact environment is a marginal yet permanent stimulation of the immune system. Deviations from the normal body fluid environment inevitably cause cyclogenetic mutations in the endibiotic viroid microbe, which then mutates from the symbiontic state to parasitical forms and thus indicates the degree of the pathologic state. To provide evidence of this, a blood sample was washed several times to eliminate the serum infestation and then placed in a saline solution and enriched with glucose. After about 10 minutes, the endobiont has escaped from the infracyte into the synthetic environment where it develops itself first into a Y shape and then continues to mutate into a rod shape. Then it divides itself into tiny cocky, which finally emit ball-shaped elements into the surroundings. When subjected to an even more extreme change to its environment, the endobiont will even develop into a fungal state, as the following pictures show.